welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. And today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite games, Wizardry. This was a game that my brother and I played back in the 80s uh, pretty much constantly until we had finished it. It's a great role-playing game. You create a group of adventurers and you go into a 10-level dungeon to try to defeat the evil wizard Wordna and recover all the treasures. Um, so one thing about this game, I played it on an Apple II Plus when I was a kid growing up and never had any problems, but when I tried to play it on an Apple IIe, a strange thing happened and I'll show you what that is. So let's see what Wizardry looks like on an Apple IIe. And I'm gonna boot my original disc back from when I was a kid. Um, so the problem is on an Apple IIe, it switches to some strange 80 column mode and the characters look messed up. All right, so you can see how all of the characters have uh, spaces in between each letter. And here we'll go to the title screen where it's really obvious. Um, so you can see every single character uh, has a space right in front of it. And this is definitely not normal. If you go online and read about this, uh, some people say, well, maybe it was designed that way. Uh, but if it was, then they would have just gone ahead and used all 80 columns. So I think this is actually a bug that's been in there uh, since the beginning because it was originally written for Apple II and II Plus and there wasn't a IIe at the time. So they were never able to test it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look using Virtual 2 to see what's going on and why it's switching to 80 column mode and then also see if we can hack it so it doesn't do that. We've got Virtual 2 up and what we'll do is we will show the inspector now and this will let us actually stop at breakpoints. And what I want to do is I want to actually stop when we hit an IO address and the one I want to stop at is let's see c00d and this enables the 80 column display on a 2e and i'm going to stop when we have a put in other words a poke to that location and this is an apple 2e that's configured with an 80 column card um, an extended 80 column card in the aux slot and then we're going to go ahead and we will fire up wizardry and this is the wizardry that was downloaded off of Asimov. And the one trick to getting this to actually work at all is to make sure that it's read only. So you have to change the mode of this disk to be read only. And okay, so you can see the disk starts up and we immediately hit a breakpoint here. And we've now, we're about to switch to 80 column mode because we're gonna store the accumulator in C00D. So, if we jump back up, we're actually in C9, uh, C7 here. And so this is in the middle of the firmware for the 80 column card. And for some reason, Wizardry is jumping into that. So we can just step out of this instruction and see where we came from. And here you can see we're at a jump to a subroutine at uh, B900. And so we'll just put another breakpoint there. And then we will go ahead and resume. And then we'll just reboot. We've rebooted, we're at the jump to B900. Uh, if we step into that, we uh, jump over here. And now we're doing some comparisons. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's actually doing this. But basically what's gonna happen is, and I've traced through this before, we're gonna actually take a look at C300 and we are going to do a indirect jump into that location. And so you can see we're gonna jump uh, for whatever is in memory location 00F6. And if you look at that, it's C34A. All right, so this is gonna jump right into the firmware for the 80 column card. And once it does that, it's going to switch to 80 column mode. 
So I repeated the same set of steps on an Apple II Plus in the emulator, and it actually jumps to a different location in the C300 range, which ends up turning off the 80 column mode. And I confirm this by taking my Apple II Plus, which has a Videx uh, video term card in it. I put it into 80 column mode, and then when I went ahead and booted it, it indeed switched it out to 40 column mode. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hack the disk image and see if we can fix this. All right, so I've fired up another Apple IIe uh, emulator. I'll put my breakpoint at B751, I'll resume, and then I'll insert my disk there and have it start booting. And now, once I hit the breakpoint, uh, let's see, I'm gonna step into that, and then we'll wait until we get to our indirect jump. And just before we get there, I'm actually going to change the memory. And instead of going to an indirect jump there at B91D, I'm going to have it do a return from subroutine, which is a 60. Okay. And so you can see I've gone ahead and changed the memory. And we'll just hit resume. So that looks much better. And. If we go to the main menu of the game, uh, it looks perfect. So we don't have any weird uh, spacing between any of the characters. All right, so how do we do this to a regular disk image? The pattern we're looking for on the disk is 6C, F6, and 00. zero. All right, so now we've used Hexfiend to change the bytes on the disk. And I've written that out onto a blank floppy here. And so we'll go ahead and we'll try this now. So what this should do, when I boot it, it should no longer switch into 80 column mode and it should just stay in 40 column mode, which is exactly what we want. All right, so that looks really good. I don't see any strange spaces. Uh, the text and graphics both look like they're still working. So we haven't uh, made anything worse with the game or broken anything. And let's go ahead now and we'll go to the title screen and we'll see what that looks like. Uh, so that looks really good. We've got 40 column text. There's no strange spaces. So I think that uh, we can now actually go ahead and play Wizardry on our Apple IIe. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload this to the Internet Archive along with a note explaining what I did and make sure it's clearly indicated that this is a, a hacked version and not the original version. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and play Wizardry on your uh, Apple IIe or IIc, now you can do that in all of its 40 columns of glory. So, thanks for watching.